So at this point, I want us to look at the fact that we've got our header in place here, and it just says insert logo here. So maybe I'll just change that information to killer sites training or CSS training. And I will just save that in my HTML and I'll move on over to my CSS style sheet. And just right after our header, and you'll notice I'm kind of trying to organize these things so that they're logically built together. And I'll come in here and I'll say header h1. And let's define the definition for this information. So what will we do? I think what we're going to do first and foremost is to give it the same margin and padding that we have on the other elements. So let's come in here and we'll say padding. Should we give it all the same all the way around? We could, you know, that'll be 20 on top and the bottom. So if we did that, we would just come in here and say, look, just give me 20 pixels all the way around. Might be a little generous top and bottom. So let me come around and take a look at that after we preview it. And, you know, I think I kind of like it. It's not too bad. You'll notice that I've got the same amount of padding here, 20, same amount of padding here, 20 and it creates a nice clean line for us to work with that we've aligned with and you know um, I don't mind having a strip of color up at the top but I think I'd like to do something that's very minimalistic in this fashion so what I may want to do instead is to remove the background for our header and if that's the case you'll notice there's not going to be anything there but instead what I'm going to do is to borrow the border information that we had for the main and let's go back to our header notice not the h1 but just the header and inside that header I'm gonna say border t border bottom color and border bottom width of one and a border bottom style of solid. Now if we do that, let me save this, then preview it in our browser, you'll see that we have our white and it's just a nice clean line that we've got going there. Perhaps, just to keep things in keeping with everything else, I'm going to borrow the background color that I'm using here and maybe we can use it for our headlines. Not only for our um, header but also for the other ones that we're dealing with as well so um, let's see I'm going to borrow the color which we're going to be using which is the same as this hover effect so I'm going to copy 99c and we need to add color to the header h1 so I'll come in here and I'll say color and I'll paste in that color that we just copied. All right, we've got that here, but having done that here, I also kind of want to do it to the headlines as well. So in main, that is, rather. So I'm going to come in here right after main paragraph, and we'll say also main h2s, comma, and h3s, because there are h2s and 3s in there. And what I'm going to do is to put in color, same color that we had on the other one. Don't forget to close this tag. So let's see what this looks like once we've saved it. And we can preview this in our browser. Aha! Uh -huh. Pretty good, but you might find it a a little bit light in comparison to the rest of the information so I think I'm just gonna try and choose a darker purple so let me see which one may be a good looking color for us to use perhaps something more along these lines alright so I'm just gonna copy this information H2's and 3's are doing it so why don't we also get our H1 in the header doing it as well save that preview it in our browser and you can see it's a little bit darker and may show up a little bit nicer 
depending on what you're looking for. If you actually want this to be the same background color, you can, for the hover state, we can do that too. We can just go down to the hover state. So li a hover. And I'll change this to the darker one that we're now using. Preview it. Uh, and there you go.